Welcome back to Golden Substance. This is Tonya Flores, and I'm broadcasting now near the Mojave Desert in Arizona. You know, that's where all the creepy urban legends are. You can tell I'm kind of like a little bit of a, a hot mess, a little dirty and stuff. I just got done um, off roading and <laughs> like a dune buggy kind of thing. With my family, it was actually pretty awesome. We were out there out roading for some hours, and um, it was just really nice. Like, I it was nice experience because I the other times I've drove through Arizona, I really held like fear for like the unknown, and like going out to the unknown and seeing like how peaceful. And sometimes it's just so quiet. There was just like dead silence, but it was so good when nobody was speaking. It'd just be like. And we got to see all kinds of wild animals out there. I saw wild cattle. I saw wild donkeys. Um, you know, jackrabbits running through. Little um, birds that run. I forgot what those little native birds are here in Arizona. Kind of run before they fly. Anyways, um, the kids really enjoyed it. Auntie at the end would drive it real crazy through it. <laughs> um, just happy we all made the out roading alive. And we didn't see no skinwalkers. And we got here right at nightfall. It was really nice, a really nice experience. Um, as far as I want to say, like, I'm enjoying my time in Arizona. It's different, much slower. But if you're looking for peace and stuff, it's very peaceful. They do have these interesting urban legends that came from, I believe, the Navajo about skinwalkers and actually know a few people who believe they might encounter some, you know, driving out here, dark night. If you guys don't know what that is, you know, go look it up. It's a really interesting tale. Basically, my understanding of it is that medicine men or somebody who already practiced magic, um, I'm not sure for what reason, maybe to protect the land from the white folk or whatever it was at the time, the medicine men. I don't know if it was really had to do with good attention or they just got so high in magic that um, they decided what to do with their gifts to either go good or bad. And if they went down the path of darkness, they turned to the skinwalker. And the skinwalker is actually the American term. And this is a phenomenon that going on through the Mojave Desert in Utah, if you have seen Skinwalker Ranch, um, for some quite some time now. You know, some people very much um, afraid to say the name, especially the Navajo people. The Skinwalker is not the true translation of the name. I am not gonna drop the translation of the name, even so I know what the true name is and discovered it and been doing some more research while I've been out here. I had a really creepy dream that was related to it that I would love to share with you guys in just a moment. But yeah, and the translation is he who walk on all fours. So the belief is that the medicine man or um, shaman would sacrifice somebody they love dear, a friend or a family member, and maybe eat of this organ of them. And they would have the power after that to transform and pick what kind of creature or shape ship that they were gonna, you know, transform into and they believe to stalk and pray at the night. But if either I'm not sure know the name Skinwalker or know the actual Skinwalker's human name before they transform, you could defeat them with that. But most of all they're not known to be defeated. They're known to I guess live eternally. I guess that's also lore. Maybe that's why somebody would want to come one. They can't live in regular society, you know? They're out there in the wild, big animals, and shape-shifting, and there's quite a lot of interesting stories online about them, you know, and I'm not gonna give their names. Somebody close to me was driving out Arizona and early in the morning, I saw something on all fours running, and it scared the living shit out of them. There's also rumors in this town that the police have some things uncovered underground that they're not willing to talk about that scared the living shit out of them. People are getting scared, you know? Um, 
I wouldn't really recommend wandering off around here at night, just in case the urban legends are true. You're safer to be in your houses. There is sure a strong kind of wind and I tried doing a full moon ceremony, but honestly, it just gave me and my other partitioner the creeps, which normally I don't get creeped out like that, guys. But even the animals were acting weird, the cats and the dogs. And like, okay, that night after we um, were under the full moon, you know, good vibes, manifesting, you know, maybe we was telling little scary stories, you know, you know, there's this howling in the wind, like it sounded like a woman screeching in a man. And I don't know, it just gave me chills that way, like no other. So that night I went to sleep and it was one of those uneasy dreams where you wake up and you're still in the same room. So I woke up and there was somebody standing right there and then the window, the curtains moved just like how the curtains are in real life. And I saw like a hunchback shape that looked kind of like a wolf running across the window, like, but not, not across the window, but like on the outside. And the, whatever person was standing there, that was in darkness, it was just like, that's a skinwalker. And I was like, oh, in the dream, I didn't even fear that they're just like, oh. And I rode back and went back to sleep. And that was under the full moon just a few nights ago. A very uneasy dream. Me personally, I think, you know, there's no way we could say that we know everything that is out there. And if you guys have any more, you guys would like to add to this, um, I don't know if you guys have seen Sam Walker Ranch, what's your thoughts on that? I just find this topic to very fascinating, you know, so it's taboo and scary and they say you shouldn't mention it, but I'm really not one to be scared easily and I do believe in my own inner power, my own inner strength. So if you don't have that, I wouldn't recommend looking into anything too dark for yourself, you know? But... You can see I'm like excited. Like these things excite me. Like, but yeah, I'm less scared. I'm not sure if it would be per se, those things be over in this area. I seem kind of like safe, like seeing the donkeys and the cows out there and just eating and stuff. Cause like, these are like loony kind of areas. And you know, this area feels definitely, I feel, safe even though it's dark nothing out there but the animals animals tell you a lot animals give you a lot of warnings before anything happens and the animals seem to be pretty calm in this area and you know i'm enjoying my trip out here in the desert i want to soon be doing a video in sedona looking for the portals um we'll probably do some more videos about urban legends coming up and i want to have some guests on here um, anyways, I'm dirty, guys. I'm about to go shower. Um, I had a great time off warmly today. If you never went off road recommend you do it. But, of course, do it safe and let somebody know how to off-road. Because people do die, you know. Things do get dangerous. You don't know what you're doing. You might flip over going too fast. All right. But until next time, you know, subscribe. That's this golden substance. Let me know if you think Skinwalkers is an interesting topic, if you guys would like me to dig deeper into that topic.